So hey there everyone, and as always, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by to hang out for a few. My name is Rich Charpentier. I'm the channel host, and if you can't tell, there's a lot of drone stuff on this channel. There's also some mobile tech stuff and some travel information as well, and travel videos from my time with my Airstream. But today I'm following up on a video that I did this week, and I was trying to do something almost live stream-esque where I walk you through part of my process for when I'm doing drone deliverables for my clients. And um, I had some major problems this weekend. The new Mac OS X Catalina has caused a lot of grief for me. Um, it's still causing grief. So two days later, I'm still not quite where I want to be and um, still having some system issues. Hopefully Mac's gonna work that out. And if you watched that last video, you know, hey, that went a little long and then we didn't get to see as much as we wanted to. What I'm doing today, I'm going to cut this down because we've been talking about drone deliverables. So for uh, the particular project that I started walking you through on Saturday, two days ago, um, I wanted to talk about uh, an ortho mosaic and basically a time lapse ortho mosaic. So a before and after, you know, what did the entire construction site look like last month? What does the entire construction site look like this month? So. From the weekend's video, I came back, I offloaded all of my images and my video, and I had a block of images, like 84 or 85 images, uh, that I used Map Pilot to fly. And then I took those images and I finally got them into Metashape. I had some problems with Metashape this weekend and my license because of the Catalina update. So, literally, um, after the Catalina update, the Metashape Pro software thought, hey, this is a different computer and your license is already on another one. Crazy, but true. So a little aggravating and um, I finally was able to run the Ortho Mosaic model yesterday. And so the two folders that you see here um, are my Ortho images and then my Ortho TIFFs. So we're gonna do something very simple and do a before and after with those orthos. So we're gonna take the ortho from September and the ortho that we just flew for October. We're going to overlay one on top of the other. And then when I actually load it up to the web page for my clients, um, they can see a really cool before and after. So I've created two ortho tips. They were both flown with Map Pilot and they were flown on the same exact layout. So each of them followed the same exact grid pattern and even though they do that exactly, sometimes the image can be a little off, especially if you're just throwing it into something like Photoshop and you're not geo-referencing anything. So this can be done with Metashape and Metashape Pro. You can use either to, um, to capture your 2D model and then you can overlay one onto the other. So I'm also gonna be using Photoshop here today. So if you're not a heavily skilled Photoshop user, and you're looking to expand your drone business, I would say start learning about an editing platform, either Photoshop or there are a lot of other platforms out there, but Photoshop's the most well-known and um, you know, everyone refers to photos as Photoshopped these days. So um, that tells you right there, um, Photoshop is kind of the it tool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just grabbing um, this 92119 ortho. Let's just go ahead and open it up with preview. And it can't be opened because Mac. Um, I still love OS X usually. It's just Apple's uh, not doing as great as they used to when it comes to um, the desktop software for sure. All right, so instead of just double clicking and opening that, I'm gonna grab 921. I'm gonna drag it down to my Photoshop program. And now we're gonna wait for Photoshop to open. And I'm going to also move both of these folders over to my other screen so they're not in our way. So right now we're opening the September image. And then I'll pop up on the screen in a minute. There we go, there's September. And up in the upper left corner, the name of the file, 92119 ortho tiff. All right, really good. Now I'm going to go over and grab the ortho that was made over the weekend. I am dragging that into Photoshop as well. There we go. Ooh, kind of looks similar, doesn't it? Um, almost the same, maybe just a little bit of difference between the two. So here's 921. We can see that the rooftops are starting to get, uh, starting to get their covering 
and then all of them have their covering. So this is just one of the deliverables I do on this particular client project. So we have these before and after orthos, and we can go all the way back to July with this and see the massive changes um, in the period of a couple of months. But what I want to do, I want to get these lined up just a little better because they're not quite spot on. And yes, they do have georeferenced data in them, but when I'm dragging it into something like Photoshop, we're not looking to make measurements or anything. We're just looking to show the overall changes to the job site. So in order to do that, um, I just need the layers to match up as nicely as possible so that it's not visually jarring when the folks are looking at before and after. So I'm going to, number one, pull this particular tab, and I'm throwing it onto my other screen. And so now we are looking at 921.19. And over here in the layer, I'm going to double click the layer really quick. And I'm just going to call that layer 921.19 as a point of reference for myself. Now I'm clicking on the other ortho, and that one is actually selected on my other screen, and I'm just dragging the layer over onto this one. So now we've got two different layers, and we can see, hey, look, they're not matching up right now. Rich dragged it wrong. I'm gonna close the other one, by the way, because I don't need it open any longer. But so we have two very similar maps and map pilot did a really nice job and metashape did a really nice job on matching these things up almost perfectly but not quite there was a good deal of wind on the location um, and that could jar the drone ever so slightly and um, even with those slight little hiccups it can show through on these types of before and after images so what do i do here to kind of line things up more Number one, I'm gonna just uh, just hit a zoom in. Uh, this is not a Photoshop tutorial or class. This is giving you an idea of how I'm putting together one of my particular deliverables. And so like I said, not perfectly lining, down on the bottom area, right down in here uh, where I'm clicking, you can actually see the difference. So this is very closely matched up. So I'm gonna layer those just about right there together. And one of the really nice things that you can do in Photoshop is you can change the opacity of a layer. So I can actually make this layer a little more transparent to see how far off I am. So I'm just going to drop that opacity down to 60%. And yeah, we're not exact on there. We're pretty darn close. But let's see if we can get these things lined up just a little bit better. And there I go. That's almost perfect on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, it is a little off. It's not too jarring. I'm going to put that opacity all the way back to 100%. And now on the right-hand side, I've got these two layers. Oh, I forgot to label the second layer. I want to label that one 10, 26, 19, so I know which one is which. And you've got this little eye symbol right here in Photoshop, so I can turn off the top layer, and we're looking pretty good there. All right. Um, ever so slight deviations um, on the left-hand area, just a bit. Nothing too horrible and nothing too jarring. One of the things that I can do is I'm going to bring that opacity back down, and I'm going to grab the free transform tool, and I am just stretching that down Let's see, I really want to get it as matched up as possible. All right, that's looking good. I'm gonna hit return. Let's go ahead and bring that opacity back up. Now let's look between them, almost perfectly spot on. One of the things that might jar you is the fact that we've got some shadows. Um, time of year is changing here. So, you know, the shadows are getting longer as we're getting into the winter and time of day I probably should have waited just a little longer because we've got a lot of shadowing in the October one and in the September one less shadowing because it was shot a little later it was also shot with higher sun but we are just about spot on other than the fact that the um other than the fact that the shadows are throwing us off a little bit and now what we can do because we have all these edges these clipping edges um you know where the drone had gone out to so we don't want this to um, have all this edging. We want to show them 
um, just a nice little rectangle. So one thing that we can do in here is I'm going to zoom that back out and I'm going to grab the crop tool. And so the crop tool will allow me to make just a nice rectangular presentation and cut out all that extra extra stuff that we say all this extraneous material because we're focusing on the job site in here and all these edges um, are other locations so the job site is in the center um, down on the lower right hand side we've got uh, a hotel down here and a swimming pool over on the side we've got a bank over here we've also got a fire and rescue station right over here but now that I've cropped that down there we go now let's do before and after before and after so the next step I'm not quite completed and I'm not going to include this in the video I want to get the crop exactly the same as the last crops that I've had so I'm going to open up another one and double check the actual crop size so that I have these spot on and consistent with the other ones that I've already done in my presentations to my clients so let's wrap this up so one of my drone deliverables um, for these particular customers was each month I do a new ortho mosaic and we can compare that month to the last month's ortho mosaic or we could compare this month's ortho mosaic to when we first started this project if we'd like to so what I've done after I generated the orthos with MetaShape is I actually captured them uh, saved them as TIFFs and then I bring them into Photoshop I bring last month's and this month's in I layer them so I put last month on the bottom and this month on the top I make sure that they're pretty well matched up they might not be spot on but like I said no one is taking measurements of this um, we're not using this for any kind of planning we are using this just to demonstrate um, progression over time so I layered these two I matched the layers up as nicely as possible I cropped them down and then the final step will be exporting each one as a JPEG same exact size so we know they're lined up and layered and then I'm going to take those JPEGs and they're going to get uploaded onto the private web page for these clients um, and we're going to have a before and after slider on there which you might have seen on some of my previous videos so as I'm going through these deliverables when we finish the October uh, deliverable out you'll see that final page and you'll see those sliders as well so like I said, I wanted to do this whole stream thing over the weekend where we did all of these components together um, with all the headaches and software issues I had. I had to cut that one down. Uh, it still went over 20 minutes. <laughs> but anyways, each of these steps is time consuming. So the next step that I'm going to be doing that I might not be doing a video on with you is um, actually doing the video flight through um the construction site so that's another one of my deliverables and all the videos are shot um from the same exact flight paths using litchi and i do have a course up on um, litchi for business and how you can use the waypoint missions to create consistent results time and time again especially for doing something like a drone construction progression report but the video editing usually takes a couple of hours um, getting everything matched up just right I don't think we want to drag you through all of that and given all the software problems I've been having I'd rather keep things shorter and in smaller segments that way if something's really screwed up at least we didn't waste an hour recording it all right I hope this one was interesting and informative and gave you some ideas so this particular deliverable um, month after month I actually use map pilot I use map pilot to gather all the images the images are then combined together into a model on MetaShape and then I can take screen captures or export geotiffs and I export them to the same size as the previous one I drag both images into Photoshop I line them up as best as possible so that it doesn't throw people's eyes off when they're looking at the report and they can see their before and after there you go that's the simple wrap-up of it all right everyone I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that this series is helpful to you um, I know I've had so many questions about drone deliverables so I'm just showing you through some parts of them and I hope that it's valuable if you like this give it a thumbs up down below if you don't like it that's okay you can give it a thumbs down 
And if you really enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to the channel and follow along. You can also check out my classes over on Udemy. Links are down below in the show notes. And there's one link up in, the, um, up in one of the info cards in the upper right corner of the screen. All right. Have an awesome start to the week, everybody. I've got to get back to work because I have to finish this uh, drone construction progression report for my clients now. So putting the YouTube away, getting back to work. We'll see you again soon.